Hi, Tech Coach Gina here, and today I'm going to answer the question, can you sell eBooks with WooCommerce? The short answer is yes. If you'd like to learn WooCommerce, I teach this. So if you go to my website and click here, you can see the product and add it to the card. This right here is a WooCommerce product. But for an eBook, you're not necessarily delivering a course and it's much faster. So I'm just going to give you a preview here. Let's go to the dashboard of WordPress. And we're going to scroll down with WooCommerce installed. You'll see it right here on the left and right underneath there is products. We're going to go to add new. So at minimum, you're going to need your book title and your price. And you can always put it on sale or change the price later if you want to. So product name, I'm going to put just my thesis title right in here and pretend I'm selling it on my website. You can put in any kind of description of the book that you want. And of course, you'll do a better job than what I typed in here as a placeholder. And then from here, you'll scroll down. And I want to point out right here the product image. So if you have an image of your book cover, I would recommend putting it right here. And right now, I don't think I have a nice cover. I probably have to design one in Canva. So I'm just going to leave this blank for now. And I'm going to scroll down. So this is all SEO stuff. I'm going to skip that for now. So the regular price, let's say, is $5.99, and maybe I want to put this on sale for $4.99. Now, the key thing is that for an ebook, you want to check virtual and downloadable. And so that way, you can have the buyer automatically get that download of the ebook after they purchase. So you can actually add the file to your media library. And I'm not sure if I have the ebook file right now. I think I have just a scan of the thesis. So I could always work on the formatting of that before I offered that for sale, but you just click add file and you can choose the file. This opens up your media library. So you would just go to upload file and select the file. Now, there's an upload size limit that's set with your host. And so if your ebook is really high definition with a lot of graphics, you may want to check to see if you could compress it so that it's not too big and you don't want it to slow down your site. But basically, you can upload it here when it's ready and you could put some limits here if you want to. Now, once you're ready to publish this, you simply hit publish. Now, right now, I don't want to publish it because I don't really have the PDF ready. So I'm just going to put save draft and I'll come back to this later. But as you can see, that was less than five minutes and I could publish and have an ebook ready on my website for sale. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and check out my course on WooCommerce right here. We've got a sale going on. It's not always on sale, but right now we have a sale. So you can check this out if you'd like. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments for me. Have a great day.